In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix an iPod that will not detect to your computer. Now what you should know is, is that in order for your iPod to detect through iTunes it has to detect through your computer first. Now when you plug the iPod in usually on the taskbar lower right hand corner you'll see detecting hardware or software detecting device and you see a little spinning hourglass. It depends on the type of operating system that you have whether it's a PC or Mac it does certain different things but your computer has some kind of indicator that after you plug your iPod in it starts to detect it. Now if it's not doing anything and not detecting anything then you have to go through the process of elimination of some of the possible causes. So let's do that. The first thing that I recommend that you do is to make sure that you have the latest USB drivers installed. Now getting the latest Windows update or if you have a Mac, getting the latest Mac updates will usually install the latest USB drivers. Once they're installed, then your iPod and all your hardware devices that work with USB should be detected. Now if this doesn't work, make sure that your USB cable, and this is from experience, make sure that it is untied, the cable tie is off, and it is unraveled. If your USB cable which is also called your sync cable for your iPod is tied up it may prevent the current from going through thus preventing your computer from detecting and also slow sync speeds to sync music so make sure you have it unraveled also make sure that your USB cable is functional you can do this by testing it on a different computer and also make sure that it's an original Apple cable now some of the generic cables and other name cables work but sometimes they don't, sometimes they work with some iPods, sometimes they don't work with other iPods, so it's good to have an original Apple sync cable. The next thing which is also important is to make sure that your iPod or iPhone is fully charged. This is very important. The battery should be fully charged. It takes a lot of resources for your iPod to be detected to your computer requires resources. A full battery will give the iPod those resources. Now if you have an old battery it may show fully charged but it may still be weak so in that case make sure to replace the battery. Implementing these ideas should remedy the problem. If it doesn't it may be a hardware issue. So I hope you found this video useful to you and that you remedied the problem. If it did please show your support for this channel by subscribing feel free to leave comments and rate this video and thank you for tuning in.